We're here at the Arizona Proving Ground. It's 42, 43 degrees ambient temperature today. We're here testing the Everest. We're testing here because we've got the temperature we need, we've got the fuels we need, we've got the tracks and the facilities that we need. So this is real world validation basically. When we're not here to baby cars, we're here to give them worst case scenario. Temperature, altitude, all those things affect uh, how the engine performs. The engine's most stressed when it's, re it's really dry. We'd probably almost reach the point of overheating a couple hundred times a day. The engine's got a self-protecting strategy in, on board, so the, the torque will reduce when we get to that point. So we basically push it past the maximum and then we'll give it a bit of a cool down and then go again. The car is sold in all-wheel drive and rear-wheel drive configurations, and so it has to have the engine set up to make the, the most of the package and the availability of space. So in order to give the requirements that the customer needed, the engine and the intake system and the exhaust system is all unique to this vehicle, which then all feeds into what we do in the engine and how we calibrate it. And we use things like this, a dyno trailer, to load up the vehicle as much as possible. In this particular test, we're testing the uh, engine at maximum stress. Well, this is basically like towing a maximum load. So you're towing something so heavy or up a hill that the car's actually slowing down. You have to pull it down a gear to get it up a hill. Fuels vary wildly, and all these fuels have a different ratio which they burn with air, so a different stoichiometric ratio. And so we need to make sure the engine can cope and operate to its optimum under any conditions. This means we've got to put the car through a lot of different fuels, we've got to do a lot of different testing. We do that here in Arizona especially because the heat and the cold have very wildly different effects on how the different fuels behave in the car. It's the balance of power, economy, smoothness, quietness. They're all the things that we're looking at in terms of what engine and how we calibrate that engine to best suit the customer. What we put them through is worse than what customers will ever do. We need to make sure that when the customer buys one of our products, it's going to last. So in essence, if you can do it, we have to have done it first.